Hello, everybody. Twitter's new CEO is a WEF director. I'm Chris Martinson of Peak Prosperity. We are going to talk about this because this is a bizarre thing to me right here. Um, don't know how to interpret it yet, but it's got a lot of people questioning things at this point in time because, you know, Elon Musk did come out and provide a lot of free speech over at Twitter. But what is this all about? This is the new Twitter CEO. Uh, Sneeko says, well, it was nice while it lasted, right? Because we all know what's going to come next if this plays out as we think it might, which would include right back to censoring. There's such a thing as misinformation, disinformation, which really isn't par very carefully defined, but they know it when they see it. And it always seems to involve people who are not towing the corporatist globalist party lines. That's it. So they just don't like dissenting opinions. I get that. Uh, but I don't like support it whatsoever. I understand that that's their position, but at any rate, this is the woman. Now it was just back in, what's that? That's February, sorry, January 18th. Elon Musk saying, hmm, WEF is increasingly becoming an unelected world government that the people never asked for and don't want. He's absolutely right. I don't want any part of an unelected globalist arrangement at this point in time, because obviously their interests and my interests don't align. And I didn't elect them and I have no say over what they're up to. I'm not a fan of that whole thing. Not even slightly. But yeah, Linda Yaccarino is indeed, she is not just somebody who had her picture taken at the WEF, because it happens. You can go to an event, get your picture taken there. She is the executive chair of the World Economic Forum from 20, January 2019 to present. And let's review, because the World Economic Forum, WEF, is an independent international organization committed to improving the state of the world by engaging business, political, academic, and other leaders of society to shape global, regional, and industry agendas. Shape industry agendas. Ah, that's fantastic. Just what we want. More industry agendas, because that worked out so well during COVID, didn't it? You know, at any rate, Yaccarino is the chairman of the WEF's Task Force on Future of Work and sits on the WEF's Media, Entertainment and Culture Industry Governors Steering Committee, also highly engaged in the Value in Media Initiative. And I don't know what that is. I haven't a clue. So uh, here she is um, committed to shaping global, regional and industry agendas. Great. OK, so it's official. Of course, Elon did say he is excited to welcome Linda Yaccarino to the new CEO position. He's going to. She's going to be um, transforming this platform into the everything app, whatever that means. So I'm sure Elon has big plans. He's quite the visionary. And he's going to be overseeing product software and sysops. So I don't know how to interpret this yet, but um, my hackles are up. It does not feel right. I'm not super happy with this. And so the reactions have been pretty consistent and swift so far. Houston, we have a problem. Said here, canceled my Twitter blue. I've heard a lot of people doing that already. Sorry, WEF is the enemy of free people. There's no way to put lipstick on this pig. Um, and over at my website, peakprosperity.com, Neo786 wrote, Twitter is the only social media account I have. I'll be deleting it if this woman becomes CEO. I'm done with this. It's all psychological warfare anyway. It's all designed to demoralize us and wear us down. Hmm. That's what they're doing, he says here. They give us a little hope with empty promises of free speech. And Tucker's new show, Come to Twitter, and then promptly dash those hopes and remind us who's really in charge with the appointment of a woke WEF ideologue as the new CEO of Twitter. Apply pressure, take the pressure off, reapply pressure, rinse, and repeat. And that is, of course, the model around this, which is that um, if you are attempting to push a lot of social change onto a culture, you can't just do it all at once. You, you know the pressure is going to build and you can't let the pressure build to a critical overload status. What do you got to do? You apply pressure, you get the change you need, and then you need a little relief. You let the steam out of the vessel. And then apply more pressure and then let a little steam back out again. That's the process. And of course, by the time all of that happens, everybody is worn down and um, unable to really resist. So if, it's kind of how it feels at this point in time. So these are the kinds of um, conversations we have to have because, yeah, this is demoralizing for a lot of folks. And there's only so much demoralization you can take before the gas is out of your tank and you can't be an effective husband, mother, father, daughter, son, person, employee, household member, 
it's just things happen. So keep guard of the degree to which you invest your hope in people who maybe, maybe don't deserve that hope. And so that, what does happen though, what needs to happen is you need to be around the kinds of people that share that view with you. You deserve access to the right information and the right people. Hey, we're doing this at Peak Prosperity. I want to give you another chance, another offer to come by and do this with us, which is assemble, discuss, and then take action around what's really going on in the world or do it somewhere else. Do it in your local community. I don't care. I, I'm please. It's time for you to become more resilient. And a lot of people are stuck. They don't know what the first steps are, how they would do that. Guess what? This is where AI can't help you. The best way for one human to figure out what to do is to look at what another human is doing or has already done and use them as a model. So yeah, you need and deserve information in a community that you can trust. I am your information scout. A lot of other people at my website are as well. We are committed to finding information we can trust. And so I write these things called daily takes every single day, Monday to Friday, I sit down and you know, what's on my desk that morning from all of my perusing of the world and scouting. And then I share it with you. And it looks a lot like this, where um, this is just a scroll of one of these inside takes right here. I put pictures in here. I put memes in here. I put context in a couple of jokes every so often. This goes to 11, right? I show you where everything is. I source it all. So this is for many people more than worth the price of admission to peak prosperity all on its own. But this is the conversation starter. To me, the real value is all the conversation that happens under that. Many, many, many thoughtful comments to help digest that, process it, put it in appropriate context. And to make all of this super easy on you, um, you know, we're just going to, I'll just do everything I can to present everything as easy as possible. I love how Clara put it here. She says, so grateful for Peak Prosperity and this beautiful tribe because we support each other. And this is crazy times is crazy right now. In case you hadn't noticed, people are going crazy. I'm seeing a lot of things where people have um, reported that themselves feeling a lot of stress or seeing people waking up suddenly or uh, getting the vibe that people who are normally maybe a little asleep are understanding that something, something's, something's really wrong right now. And so as we say at Peak Prosperity, there's nothing you can do about unlearning something. But if you know something's wrong, like the Fed's overprinting money and it's going to create a lot of inflation, if you know that, but you haven't taken any action around that yet, in that gap between what you know and what you haven't done yet, that's where anxiety forms. That's where it lives. That's where it builds and amplifies. So how do we, how do we correct that? Well, we can't unlearn what we know, right? So what do we do? We surround ourselves with the people who are also on that wavelength with us. And to make it as easy as possible, we now have a 30-day, no questions asked, money-back guarantee. Come, sign up, spend 30 days with us. If it, for any reason, doesn't work out for you, no worries. Just tell Ivor Mechton, our, our Autobot, that you would like to cancel out, and it will happen. So that's our promise. I'm so confident that you're going to find this exceedingly valuable at this point in time that I'm willing to put this offer out there. So that's what I have for you today. And uh, thank you very much for listening. We will see you hopefully at Peak Prosperity. And if you want to know what I'm thinking on a daily basis and be with your tribe, come on by Peak Prosperity because it's time. All right. Next time. Until then, I'm Chris Martinson. Bye-bye.